Um, let's go on to Arsenal then. You, you started the evening, we were talking about fatigue and tiredness and Arsenal looking leggy and you were wondering whether it was uh, Arteta trying to uh, eliminate uh, allegations of the past that Arsenal were mentally, uh, had, had problems mentally weak. Um, what does tonight's performance uh, make you think, Richard? I think he may have created his own problems, Arteta. I think what we've enjoyed watching Arsenal is the different sort of small details that they've had in games and different tactical movements of players and positioning. But tonight, I think it went against them. The way that he set the team up went against them because we spoke before the game about how much they've got out of Odegaard and Xhaka in, in the midfield. Well, today he had Xhaka playing back in his old position where he's played previously and he went missing today and he ends up getting booked. He's arguing with people, he's round. And if the manager continues to tinker with things and change people around, if the results then don't follow that, players start to go, instead of he's a genius, they'll be going, he doesn't know what he's doing, why is he doing this? We're winning games when we play this way, why change it? So, Because you get a bit of confusion on a night like this evening, is that what you mean? Yeah, like, I mean, you... you look at Xhaka and he's been playing great and they've been winning games and then tonight he said, well, don't play how you've been playing, play differently, go back to your old style. They lose the game and Xhaka will be frustrated with his own performance and him being the character that he is, that he seems to be, He'll be asking questions of the manager. Why did you why did you make me stay back? Why didn't you let me go and run into the box like I've been doing so well? So mm. I think it starts if he doesn't control it quickly, but they're good because they've got Notts Forest at the weekend, a the game they would expect to win. But I'd imagine he'll go back to the normal 4-3-3 and allow Xhaka and Odegaard to run free. Uh